Hey everybody, my name is Jason Lenny and I'm the product manager for release here at GitLab. What I want to show you today is a little demo of getting an iOS application working um, where you can start the process on an iPad, um, send the build to one of our runners, and then get it back on your iPad using test flight. So what we're seeing here is the product, or the project I should say, um, for this little flappy bird code that I found. We're heading into the web IDE. Um, this is the GitLab CI YAML. Uh, as you can see, it's very simple. We're taking advantage of Fastlane, uh, which does a lot of magic for you around grabbing certificates, doing the build, and uploading to test flight. Um, so all of this is actually pretty easy. What we're going to do is go into the uh, info plist and just increment the version number to five uh, in order to trigger a new build without doing too much here. As you can see, we're doing all of this from the iPad. Um, and uh, once that's done, uh, it will trigger a pipeline, uh, which we can move over into the CICD pipelines view, open up the running pipeline, take a look at the build that's going, uh, and see that the uh, process has started. Um, this is running on a Mac OS runner um, because we need to run Xcode build. Uh, the most difficult part of getting this working was for sure getting the certificates and everything configured on that build runner. Um, it wasn't incredibly complicated, but there's a lot of gotchas and just the way that uh, iOS apps work and certificates is a bit strange. Uh, and if you're not totally familiar with it, it can, uh, can throw you for a bit of a loop. Uh, but, uh, but I was able to get it up and running. Um, this takes about 20 minutes. Uh, most of the work is actually done on the side of, um, of Apple. Um, so what's happening right now is that the build has finished. Uh, the preparation is done. It's all been bundled up and it's being uploaded to test flight. Um, so uh, this takes about 15 minutes on average, I think. Um, Apple does a bunch of validations and makes sure that things are correct and working. Uh, and in the right format, uh, one of the things that I had to do was get icons working uh, just in just so the right format that uh, Apple expects. Um, but yeah, uh, this will run for a bit. Uh, there's going to be a cut in just a few moments uh, that will take us over to about uh, 15 or so minutes in uh, when the pipeline resumes and I've received the notice. So yes, this is the cut. Um, as you can see, I got a Gmail uh, letting me know that the new version is ready. Um, so the pipeline will finish uh, in just a moment. It's polling uh, and hasn't quite noticed that the, uh, uh, that the uh, pipeline is done and that the app is available. So let's head over into the test flight app uh, where we can take a look at our application. Uh, we can run the update and see that version five is now available. Um, in order to enroll my device, I had to do that through the developer console, uh, but it was pretty straightforward. Um, and yeah, now you can see here that we've got uh, the Flappy Bird app up and running and all is good in the world. So it's a pretty cool loop. Uh, you can do everything you want and um, everything works great. So thanks for watching. Um, hope to improve this and, and do a little bit more over time. Um, if you've got any feedback or thoughts, let me know. Talk to you later.